the course that they're going to take on today. It's 50 kilometers long. It's the figure eight reverse custom with an uphill finish on a brute of a climb. A brand new era begins. Esports are here and for the very first time at elite level. Well, this is the steepest part of the climb here, Robert. She has, she says, sitting on five and a half watts a kilo, but looks what's happening behind. Ashley Moorman Pasio, 10 watts a kilo. Sarah Giganti from Australia, nine watts a kilo. The power up being used, consummate use there by the South African of the power up on nearly the steepest part of the climb. And Rob, she's moving clear, half a second clear now she is. Lauren Stevens in third place, 100 metres now to go with Ashley Moorman at the front. Giganti ready to come around, but Ashley Moorman still going to the line. Moorman pulls out again, Moorman going all the way. It's Ashley Moorman Pasio who takes the World Champions jersey. We've seen some pretty aggressive racing so far. 4.4 kilometers to go here. I can tell you that uh, Haram Verhoeke has been up towards the front too. In the meantime, this is Charles Chrétien of Canada, and it's the Canadians on mass again. And it's obvious that the Canadian sports director has been on the blower because Chrétien, Sanders, Chain and Corté all lighting up the power numbers at once. It's another, another acceleration from Osborne. Look at that, 12 watts a kilo and he's got a great gap here. Osborne is out there for Germany and the Germans are on the way to glory. It's Osborne who's going to be the world champion for the first time in eSports. A trendsetter and Germany have it, followed by Dalcin and Foldager. It's Osborne who is the world champion.